चल 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 बहुत घंटा ही मारी है America, the land of opportunity for corporations, built on the backs of slaves and countless genocides around the globe. This country is none like any other. Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate. But for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my eight years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips, and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back with more than a month on the road. An experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Carnival Doge Boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on Earth. From bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks. From alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world. Subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts. Our Carnival Doge Kafla. And tag along for a journey of a lifetime. The Great American Road Trip. It's day one of our trip and we've just arrived at South Lake Tahoe. We've had countless trips down south in Cali, so this is the only place that we'll be visiting in California this time. Honestly, it's the only place in California that deserves repeated trips apart from Yosemite. This is by far my favorite place in all of the low 48 and we'll be going to some of the best spots to visit during our stay here. And if you're interested, stick around till the end where we'll go over Tahoe's interesting but somewhat dodgy history. We've just checked into our hotel and immediately set out to start exploring the lake. At this point I've had so many trips here that I'm more of a tour guide than a visitor. It's Chima's first time here so we're heading to Emerald Bay Vista Point first. This is a short stop along the way and offers incredible views of Emerald Bay. There's a lake on your left and a lake on your right. Actually, it's Chima Vahiga first time here. Either, uh, lake Tahoe, man. So, we were going to take it there. What are you doing? Meek. Meek's bed. Meek's bed. This road loops around the entire circumference of the lake and there are so many places to stop here that we simply don't have the time. So we're going to some of the best spots and hoping that they won't be as crowded because of the weekend. I mean, it's summer break, so honestly, they probably will be. But before we continue on our journey, we need to double back to the hotel and see if we can find my credit card. Card, card mil gaya hai, pata nahi kaise lekin mil gaya. Chipa bhai ne dhoonda hai. Parking, parking lot mein gira diya tha. Check in karte hain, jab gadi park kiye the. So, ab ab uske saath. Disaster averted. Now we can head out to Meeks Bay. Well, we were supposed to be here at 10 a.m., but we finally made it at 5:30 p.m. You ready? Yeah. 
Since we got it pretty late, we've decided to just chill here until the sunset. Water in the lake is extremely cold, so we'll have to wait till midday tomorrow for a swim. So for now, we plan to relax and maybe have a short nap. Cold is probably dinner as well in total. The coffee to come in. The sun's setting now, so can't get into the water, but we're too tired anyway. So we're gonna rest for a bit, probably sleep on the beach for about four hours, and then go back to the hotel, have a shower. She was going into the water. So he probably doesn't need a shower later. <laughs> Our nap was disturbed by a surprise guest. I lifted the bag upside down and a few crisps fell out. That was a huge mistake. This Canada goose gobbled them up and wouldn't leave us alone. After the sunset, we headed back towards the hotel to Collie at night. We decided to crash earlier tonight so we'd have more energy for the day tomorrow. Now we're going to Sand Harbour, a little swimming. Hopefully we can find a nice spot because it's Saturday. Uh, it's Saturday, right? Because yeah. uh, it's Saturday, there's going to be lots of people there. So hopefully we can find a nice spot. We'll probably swim around for a bit, but we need to head out um, by 12 from Lake Taha. So let's see. Hopefully we'll have some time to come back to the village. I said, you have been in park here, Sand Harbour, and you have been in the boat. बहुत ज्यादा रश लग गया मुझे लग रहा था कि हम जल्दी आएंगे तो शायद हमें जगह मिल जाएगी लेकिन बहुत बहुत रश है लॉट फुल है लेट्स सी इफ वी कैन फाइंड द स्पॉट सो वी वर जस्ट ड्राइविंग बैक टू अनदर स्पॉट बट वी फाउंड समथिंग आई थिंक इट लीज डाउन टू द वाटर एंड आई थिंक वी कैन स्विम देयर बट आई एम नॉट श्योर सो वी टुक द स्कूबा स्टफ अह वी गॉट गोप्रो एंड वी आर हेडेड आउट सी इफ वी कैन फाइंड द स्पॉट टू स्विम बिकॉज़ आई रियली वांट टू बिफोर आई लीव मिल गया फिर लेकिन जाना हमने वहां पे है क्योंकि That's where the sun's at. God, I love this place. Sand Harbour is apparently the best spot to swim at Lake Tahoe, and we tried to get there early morning to beat the crowds. Nice sandy beach, shallow, crystal clear water, but apparently everyone else had the same idea. I mean, it's summer break, so you can't really blame them. What we're looking for is a spot that's getting sunlight and has a shallow bank, so we can enjoy the clear turquoise waters. It's all about the vibes. While we enjoy a swim at the lake, let's go over a few interesting facts about Tahoe that aren't too well known. This lake was formed about 2 million years ago as part of the Lake Tahoe Basin, and its modern extent was shaped during the ice ages. Lake Tahoe is known for the clarity of its water and the panorama of surrounding mountains on all sides. John C. Fremont discovered Lake Tahoe in 1844, but in reality he didn't discover shit. He was a bit late to the party. Native Americans, specifically ancestors of the Washu tribe, had been in by close to 10,000 years and probably more. The lake was the center of the Washu world for centuries. They camped, hunted, fished, and cherished Lake Tahoe, which they considered sacred, life-sustaining water. Then white folks did what white folks do best and pretty much fucked it all up. They started stripping the lake and the surrounding area of its resources. Pretty much cut down 80% of the forest. A lot of regular white folks became insanely rich by stripping Tahoe's resources. Later on, it became a popular retreat for the rich from San Francisco, Sacramento, and Virginia City. They eventually started building casinos and hotels here. Thankfully, the deforestation stopped as the next generation of pasty rich twats decided that the remaining forests were too beautiful to be destroyed for more development. We got a blast swimming in the lake. It was no sand harbor, but close enough. Now we're heading out to the village. अच्छा जी आप बताइए चीमा भाई कैसी लगी आपको फिर जगह जगह तो फिट है यार सही बड़ी लेक है खूबसूरत क्लियर पानी है यार सबसे साफ पानी पूरे यूएस का और बाय फार माय फेवरेट स्पॉट इन ऑल ऑफ द यूएस इफ आई हैड द ऑप्शन कहीं भी यूएस में रहने की तो आई वुड चूज टू स्टे इन लेक साहो 
हैं यहाँ पे यू सराउंडेड बाई नेचर नाइट लाइफ भी है यहाँ पे कसिनोज वगैरह भी हैं और जस्ट पीपल आर नाइस लाइक दैट सम राइस इज देख है लेकिन वो अमरीका में हर जगह ही है तो आई थिंक इस Yeah, I think it's better to deal with them in a in a nicer setting, you know, a nicer environment. Usually, this is what we needed to check out last night. Um, I think it's called Sablanta Resort at the village. Yeah, yeah, the village. It's called the village. This is where we were supposed to come last night to check out the nightlife. They've got restaurants, uh, you know, shops, breweries, and they've got casinos. The village is basically where all the casinos, bars and restaurants are. We're on the hunt for a nice breakfast before heading to our next destination. The situation is that the parking is $25 here. And that $25 basically you can redeem that at any place here. And we wanted to get breakfast but there's not too many nice places for breakfast there. So I've seen the egg here. We're going to put $25 here. अच्छा जी अभी हमारे साथ एक फनी सीन हुआ है जरा कि हम वो पच्चीस डॉलर खर्च करने की कोशिश कर रहे थे तो गैसिंग अच्छा जी लेकिन स्पेलिंग ना मैं मजाक नहीं कर रहा स्पेलिंग उस पर लिखे हुए थे यार बट केक ठीक है और आपने बताया दिस बिफोर तो मैंने कह रहा है और किसी कहती है एक सेकेंड क्या बैठ जाए घूम गया ये वो कहती है वो एन है कॉफी होगी रेडी दानिश दानिश हमने उठा लिए हैं दो तीन दानिश को हमने नीचे रख दिए मजे की बात ये है कि ये सारा है फ्री तो नहीं है मतलब पच्चीस डॉलर